Agent Thornton. You again. Allowing yourself to be captured. Making us go through the effort of bringing you here. <laughs> well done. It's gonna be nothing compared to the coup de gras. Hope you're ready for it. Yes, yes. After <laughs> all, what kind of chief of security would I be if I wasn't considering my options? Well, I confess I'm disappointed things ended like this. I was hoping to convince you to work for us. If not Albac, then the VCI. But that would depend on you. Fuck off, Marburg. Enlisting <laughs> with you? That'd be like signing up to get screwed by Alpha Protocol again. The offer is out of the question, then? Goodbye, Agent Thornton. Perhaps we'll see each other again soon. Perhaps. Sorry, sir, but we have our orders. When they administer the meds, the end will be quick. Is that you, sis? Hey, sis. How you doing? I'm not doing so hot myself. Good to see you, though. Thanks. You made it out, I see. Once you're on, get to the global monitoring center and hack into the system. I'll do what I can to assist you. It's funny that Sis threw me a gun and I really don't have a gun in my hands. However, there is this. Well, someone's being noisy. Hi there. Good night. Come on, I know you're here. I know you're here too. That looks like some sort of camera. Ooh. Hmm. Well, that's no good. see here. Can I hit that camera is the question. Why yes. Perfect. Alright. Let's take out Alpha Protocol. A level up already? Well, let's use that. Sweet. Is that iron will do? Damage reduction, health bonus. Very nice. Very, very nice. Alright. Let's go kill someone. Oh boy. Well, you guys are just gonna be right out here in the open. Hello. Good night. Ah, what do we have here? Lovely. Crank rounds. What's this? Money. And a dossier on Alan Parker. EMP charge, which is definitely not going to be part of my personal gear. Let's go ahead and check out uh, 
sort of things we've got going here. We've got contact Alan Parker and escape the medical bay. Which apparently we haven't done, even though I thought the uh, medical bay was upstairs. Ooh, what's this? Hello. One has to wonder why you would get money at this point in the game, um, if the game is basically over, you know? Unless they were planning to do an Alpha Protocol number two. Honestly, I think I did hear at some point that they were trying to plan that out. But that it didn't work out because um, it wasn't as well received as they had hoped. Which is really too bad. Oh well. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Let's contact yeah, Parker. Which one? Last chance, guys. Back up your files. Agent? Hello, Parker. Or is it just Mike Thornton now? The rank stripped away. Never understood why we had titles anyway. Meaningless. I don't understand why you wanted to speak to me. If you think I can help you, you're wrong. We'll see. I think you'll want to hear what I have to say. Parker, the plan you arranged with Halbeck, it's not gonna work. Really? Doubtful. I thought there was a chance you might return. You are resourceful. Even for a rogue agent. Well, I have you all to thank for being rogue, don't I? I thought it would just be a cover, but you made it real. If you blame me for this, then you're in error. Miss Tang is to blame. You're saying Mina gave me up, and she ordered the missile strike? The first was done by her, yes. The second was the result of orders we received. Hmm. She was not responsible for that. I would have preferred you return here, where you could be monitored. As you can see, letting you run around is dangerous. And, well, despite your flaws, you are a valuable resource. I don't believe Mina would give me up. I don't care what you believe, but I have no reason to lie to you. Now, what do you want? There's little I can do for you, so make it quick. You're betraying your own country, Parker. Whatever you think you're doing, it's wrong. No, my country has authorized this, Mike. Although no one will ever know. If you think to appeal to my patriotism by defining it as betrayal, Halbeck's interests had to be protected because it's our national interests. So that makes Leyland in charge now? Of an entire branch of a U.S. agency? No. We were ordered to assist him in recovering his missiles, in assassinating mm -hmm. Shahid, and then killing you. He was given access to the facility and our resources. But why? Why did we cooperate? There's no reason to ask why. You can't tell me that you didn't suspect something was wrong. Nothing was wrong, Thornton. As I said, Halbeck had proper authorization. They asked permission, and they got it. And Westridge didn't object? No, because like me, he follows orders. We were asked to get an agent to do Leyland's job and to contract me for my services. Services? What services? I was asked to isolate events in the world and create... triggers. While many of these triggers would benefit Halbeck, a great deal would benefit the United States. China grows more powerful by the day. They are Halbeck customers as well. And if they are reliant on Halbeck technology, they are reliant on us. Even better, if they can be lured into action in Taiwan, well, then it buys us time to build strength. And Moscow? Rome? Rome was a reminder to the rest of Europe. Moscow, a necessary distribution center. And the people on the airliner in the Middle East? Those deaths, they are nothing compared to the death toll that would follow if these steps were not taken. You're responsible for everything that happened. You gave them the plan for all of this. Sung, the museum in Rome, that airliner? Uh, I wouldn't expect you to understand, Thornton. But yes, the government asked me to design scenarios to promote America's position in the world. And to strengthen Halbeck as well. It was the most interesting assignment I've had in years. To use my analytical skills for something besides system maintenance or compiling budget reports. For a project of my own. So yes, I accepted the assignment. And I did what I do best. Analyze. Eh, but it's flawed. Provided you had all the information. I did have all the information. What about the war? No. No, you didn't. Taipei, 
the op you had there, where I ran into Omen? He's still alive, and he didn't appreciate being used any more than I did. He'll be pitching in too, along with the rest of China. I know you well enough, Agent. I assume you have proof of this. You're a logical guy, Parker. With what I told you, how do you think this is going to play out? Your mistake's not going to look good on a field report, or the nightly news. But it doesn't have to be your mistake. I take it you have a plan. <laughs> yeah, you've been drafted. So you better start making yourself useful right now. Whoa. What are you guys shooting at? There's no one in here. Good night. Stupid alarm. Let's fix this right now. That. That. Done. Stupid alarm. Hate that thing. Shouldn't go off at all. Hi there. Good night, asshole. Can I go over here? No? Alright then. What is that? Huh. It's acting as if it's something. Like a turret? Something like that? Can I do this? Ah, yes, I can. That's lovely. Hmm. Some kind of document. A couple of safes. More money. Dossier on the military. Shock trap. What do we have here? Oh, whatever. Is that Scarlet in there? Got some notes on Marburg. Apparently a laser sight and another dossier. Scarlet? Hello. Mike, what are you doing here? I could ask you that same question. Did they hurt you? No. They asked me a lot of questions, but I think they were mostly interested in finding out what I knew about you. What did you tell them? Not much. I think I learned more about you from them than anything you ever told me. <laughs> Mike, there's something I have to tell you. Can it wait? We have to get out of here without getting killed. Mike... It's about what happened in Taipei, about Sung. There was a reason I was there. Hmm. I was the shooter. Really? Why are you telling me this, and why now? There's nothing I can do about it now. There's more important things at stake. What are you going to do? Well, I could use you. You mean, what are we going to do? I need your help if I'm going to get out of here. I also need that footage. And failing that, your testimony. No way am I leaving you here. I don't think Leyland intends to pay you, and Alpha Protocol's not going to be nice to you either. And if you're as good as I think you are, having one of the world's best assassins on my side could even the odds. All right, Mike. You've got my attention. I'll get the footage and meet up with you. Wow. I'll get the footage and meet up with you. I'll be all right. Go on. Why ahead. do you keep saying I'll get the footage and meet up with you? And what the hell is the matter with you? <laughs> Oh, there we go. Well, that's that's interesting news. Who would have ever thought that she was the assassin? That is very strange indeed. <laughs>